Ah, food. Everybody loves food. That's what we live for. Unlike your ex, it'll never let you down. <laughs> so, or will it? What happens when your food's not good? What happens when you're getting bad nutrition? I'm going to tell you that today. So, studies show that when people have a good nutritious lunch, not too much sugar, not too much fat, but still enough um, vitamins and uh, necessary things for nutrition that you need, you are way more productive. And some people from Harvard said that, and they're very smart, so I believe it. Um, like a lot of people who don't eat a good lunch, they tend to be like uh, your average high school student that's in this room. Uh, just kind of sleepy, not really paying attention to what I'm saying right now because you just want to go home. But when you eat a good lunch, you'll be more awake, aware in class, and you're able to know what's going on. So I propose instead of just eating onion rings and chicken nuggets every single day, maybe a country steak stays here and there, uh, we add some more food. So uh, this is my equation for productivity. So better food equals productive students. Better food equals happy teachers. Happy teachers plus productive students equals a better school. So therefore, if this is correct algebra, I'm not sure, better food should equal a better school. So I'm going to be using the Chick-fil-A sandwich for an example a lot today. Not everybody likes it, but a lot of people do. So uh, that's what I'm going to be using. So notice this right here. This is the nutrition facts for one uncrustable PBJ. And a lot of people eat those too. I don't really like them, they're not my thing, but a lot of people like them. So there are 600 calories in one of those bad boys. In one Chick-fil-A sandwich, there are 440 calories. There are also, there is less fat in this than there is in that. There are um, more carbs, which means more energy for your day, and there is more protein in this than there is that. So, this may seem a little bit ridiculous. That's the Uncrustable sandwich. This is the Big Mac. Would you believe it if I told you that a Big Mac is healthier and more nutritious than your Uncrustable PBJ? No. I bet you wouldn't. But this is true. This is straight off the McDonald's website. Uh, 60 less calories in a Big Mac than there are in, a, um, in an Uncrustable PBJ. So this is the kind of food that the school is giving you. This is what you could be having. I'm not saying everybody likes a Big Mac, but they're a lot, a lot healthier. So, um, a lot of people would argue about the pricing. Like, isn't better food, shouldn't that be more expensive? Of course it is. Better food and better stuff is always more expensive. So the price of this school lunch is $3.75. And after that price, you, like, if you want an extra water bottle or, like, a uh, drink, some kind of juice, Coke, whatever you want, that's going to be a little bit extra if you want snacks. Um, one Chick-fil-A sandwich is about four fifty. So you are going to notice a 70, about 75 cent difference in there. But really, when you come down to it, that's not a lot for um, having a good day, having good nutrition, being alert, awake in class. I would say I could do that. So, what's the catch? We can't just have good food pop up automatically out of nowhere. There's got to be some problem, right? I don't think there is. So, uh, what if what if students can't afford these? Like, what? Not everyone can just go around and afford like just buying Chick Fil A sandwiches every day. You can't just afford to eat three every day for lunch. Uh, that is okay. The current lunches will stay there so people can continue buying whatever they want. This is just a simple addition to the menu. Um, also, a lot of students have jobs. I have a job. Um, I make some money. I know you guys make money. Um, a lot of people can afford that extra little 75 cents to, um, to get the sandwich. So how will the school um, afford this? Like the school has to go out and spend more money to um, provide the food. Well, once the school starts selling the food to the students, they can charge more for it, which will in turn actually give the school a boost in profit. So it's benefiting teachers, the students, and the school. Everybody's happy. It all works out. So just imagine this. You go to the cafeteria, you buy your Chick-fil-A sandwich. This is my favorite, favorite thing in the world if you guys haven't noticed yet. You buy your Chick-fil-A sandwich. You sit down at your table with your friends. You open it up. The smell just fills the room. You, can, you already know. Your mouth is watering. You got that sandwich. You're ready to eat. You just take a bite, just hoping it's going to last forever. And then your friend steals your sandwich. How do you feel? You're mad, right? Yeah, you're mad. I know you all are. You're really mad. So. If you could go 
get another sandwich in the cafeteria line, that would be cool, right? Yeah, that's what I think. Um, so that is why I think that we should add more food to the school cafeteria. It adds productivity to the students, the teachers, and uh, any staff that's in the building. It uh, makes people uh, more productive in class. And it is uh, more nutritious, so people will be healthier. And that is it for today. Thank you.